Hi there and welcome to the One Million Gallon Koi Pond. My name is Hartwig and this is the story of my pond. The date of today's episode is 20th of July 2010 and it's been almost two months since I let loose 126 koi. Now everything still seemed to be going smoothly. They seemed comfortable and happy about the water and the environment. They were also no longer shy when I came around to feed them. They had started to congregate around the spot where I usually come to feed and watch them. And once one koi showed up, it didn't take long for the entire school to join in on the meal. One challenge that I quickly discovered was that the wind took hold of the koi feed and the shattered it over a large area. That made it hard for the fish to pick it all up. Because of the sheer number of fish that I had in my possession and the quantity of food I need to sustain them, I was pretty interested in making sure that they got hold of as much of the meal as possible. In this episode, I will show you my solution for this problem. And do remember, the goal of this channel is to give you guys such detailed updates on what it's like to manage a pond like this, that it will be like owning it yourself except without having to worry about hiring contractors, dealing with diseases, predators, or cold winters. These first episodes are reviews on what happened in 2010 and partly in 2011. Later on I want to focus more on what I've done with the pond and the surrounding landscape the last few years, and at least what remains to be done. As the series goes on, I will be documenting and taking you guys with me on all the trails of keeping a pond of this size. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a like. If you have any tips, comments or questions, make sure to leave them behind underneath. I promise to answer them all. And not least, if you haven't already, feel free to subscribe. It's totally free. That way you won't miss an episode. After thinking about how to solve the problem of feed being scattered everywhere, I decided to see how it's been solved before with smaller ponds. This introduced me to the floating feeding wheel. Now, the problem with that is that every model that I could find was way too small, and none of them had the right size for my pond. My solution was simple and cheap. I cut a PVC pipe into four sections and connected them using four so-called bands, giving me a floating rectangle. And now I had my 2 square meter or approximately 21 square foot floating feeding ring operational in no time. That without spending a dollar. I attached it to the edge of the pond in a line and my problem was pretty much gone. Except during strong winds, but it was a huge improvement regardless.
Join me next time on the 1 million gallon koi pond where my suspicions of something gone wrong turns out to be good news. That's it for now. Thanks for watching and remember there's a new episode every Friday so click subscribe and you'll be sure to never miss one.